Hello guys, I hope you all doing good. Welcome to this new video. Today I am going to solve another JavaScript problem. It will be a machine coding problem that was previously asked in Atlassian's interview. So as you know, Atlassian is a very front-end heavy, uh, you know, uh, organization that uh, has lots of front-end engineers and it also pays well. So if you are looking to crack uh, Atlassian, um, this problem could help you to practice and you know, uh, better be prepared for the interviews. So what we are going to do is we are going to implement a feature flag component in react as you can see on the screen the question read as it was asked in the second round which is the Java, uh, javascript question round implement a javascript solution for fetching and reading feature flags from an api how do you improve performance caching and sharing account across different apps so what is feature flag let's first understand that because many of you must not be aware right regarding this when we create a very configurable applications right that is catered to different needs so there are multiple features available now depending upon the plans that the business team decide like we are going to have the pro plan basic plan diamond platinum gold you see different varieties of pricing right so uh, depending upon which plan the customer chooses the different set of features are enabled to them now we don't create these features separately as per the uh, plans right so what we do is we have an admin dashboard where all these features will be listed and then this feature can be enabled from that dashboard for the particular customers so for the gold tier customers or platinum tier customers whatever changes you make now once the features are enabled through the admin dashboard it has to be reflected in the customer facing applications so we have to implement the feature flags now as you can see in the problem statement it says that the features are read from an api so you update the feature flag you set the feature flag through admin dashboard which will be updated in the database after that you use a api to fetch the features list and according to what features are enabled you uh, you know uh, conditionally display the ui on the screen just for your example this is flagsmith that is an open source feature flag and remote config service as you can see right here it is shown that there are three different features one is chat design and then dark app, uh, uh, light mode so this is the dashboard that where you can enable or disable the features now using this you see this code right import flagsmith from flagsmith then you initialize your environment id or the auth token whatever you receive after that you can use that features which is flagsmith dot has feature dark mode so accordingly if it has dark mode you have to show dark mode related changes on the ui if it has uh, design version 2 which is design 2.0 enabled or disabled accordingly you have to show features here you see right flagsmith dot has feature chat and you show chat widget so if chat is enabled from the admin dashboard you have to show it so we are going to create similar feature flag in react and i am going to use context over here context api and i'll show you how you can create a feature flag in react using context api and how you can create a custom component feature that you can use to that you can use to conditionally render the ui depending upon if feature is enabled or disabled so let's get started here i have this code sandbox link because i'm going to do react right so i right now i'm using code sandbox rather than code pane because it has folder and file structures that is very you know that gives the native feeling of the development that we do in the visual studio code so let's get started the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a folder over here let's say context so in this context we are going to have the feature flag so feature flag dot js and inside this i'm going to create the feature flag that we are going to use so the first thing you are going to do is you are going to import react from obviously react and then I am going to create a context. So feature flag react dot 
create context and then I'm going to pass an empty object to this. So here we have created one context named feature flag. Now this context we can use throughout the application in the component that has feature flag provider. So to use the context we have to wrap the component in the feature flag provider so that this component and its component related data can be used. So let's create that too. Feature flag provider and as I said right this provider is a component so it will accept the children and then we have to enable the feature flag provider this context that we have used. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to return feature flag dot provider see it is already providing me the uh, suggestion and inside that I'll render the children whatever I'm going to receive in this component okay now this feature flag also accepts a value so that value we can pass further down and it can be accessed in the children that are wrapped in the feature flag provider so basically that are passed to this component feature flag provider now I'm going to create a state over here because if you read the problem statement we have to fetch the features from an API right so for that I'm going to use a state to pull the features and then we are going to I'm going to have an empty object over here right now so you, we are going to pull the uh, feature from the API and we are going to persist that in the state and then here I have to pass the feature so value equals to feature now if you notice right we have double curly braces over here because the feature has to be passed uh, sorry this value has to be passed under the double curly braces which represents an object over here in the provider so make sure you don't miss this the value that you set on the feature flag provider right you have to pass that in the double curly braces generally we use single curly braces to pass the values right throughout the application but for the context we have to pass that in double curly braces so make sure you remember this now in order to access the feature what we are going to do is we are going to wrap the things in feature flag provider so let me import the feature flag provider and let me create another component over here this is a dummy component okay and let me return h1 slash h1 hello world and inside the app what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this feature flag provider and i'm going to wrap the example here now this example if you can see right we are passing it as a children to the feature flag provider this component and this is the children now inside these children you can access the context directly so all you have to do is you have to use the use context hook and you can click the features or sorry you can access the features inside the children that are under the feature flag provider so let me show you we are going to use the context with the hook right so i also need the feature flag the context that i have created and here i am going to say that const features react dot use context and to this i am going to pass the feature flag now these features whatever feature you pass from here right it will be accessible under these features let me show you here currently the state is empty right so 
let me add a value over here is google play enabled so let's assume we are creating a component where there are two types of payment one is through google google pay and another is through amazon pay or apple pay whatever we choose okay so is google pay enabled and is apple pay enabled so i got the google pay and the apple pay two features flags are there now these can be accessed inside the apps so if i print over here the features you will see that under the control we should get we are currently getting undefined let me see if i have saved this this is saved okay so we are passing feature not features okay that's why we are getting undefined here i have to use feature you see now the object is accessible so we are able to access the values of the context which is is google play enabled and is apple play enabled my mistake uh, this has to be features and uh, this has to be features because we are going to have the set of features right now you got your features now depending upon the features we have to show the values over here so let's say here i say features dot is google pay enabled so i have to show google otherwise i'll show nothing so if i say this you will see that we are seeing google similarly if i copy this and paste this and if i change this to is apple pay enabled and i print apple over here you'll see it is not being printed because the value of apple pay is false in the feature flag if i change this to true you'll see that apple is being printed now this is the benefit of using a feature flag because we have a single source of truth which is the features flag provider where we'll make the api call features will be pulled and then depending upon the values uh, where it is being accessed in the component we can conditionally render the ui so you can see if features google pay is enabled we are showing google if uh, apple pay is enabled we are showing apple now the problem here is we are writing this condition manually right the ternary operators so rather than this what we can do is we can have a single features component that will handle this conditional uh, you know checking for us so let's create that feature i'm going to create and then here because this feature will be part of example and example is wrapped under feature flag provider so we can use the context under the feature itself so let me cut this over here let me paste it so i am pulling the feature here and this will accept a child or a property let's say feature so what we have to do is we have to check if that feature is existing or not also it will accept a children so here what we are going to return is if from the features if the given feature is there and it exists so you can do many things over here you can abstract all the logics but I, because i am doing a simple check for the demo purpose so i am just going to see if under the features if that feature exist so if it exist it will return a value of that so if it is true i am going to return children otherwise i am going to return null nothing will be returned now let's copy this let me remove this and let's wrap that empty brackets and let's say i have 
this feature and here I write Google and then I pass the property feature is Google pay enabled and then let me copy this and paste this is Apple pay enabled so Apple now you see right this feature component it takes the feature value and if that feature value is enabled so you can use a separate property over here to determine the value of the feature which I say let's say value is true okay and here let's say the value is false so I can accept the value and then I can make a check if the feature equals to equals to value then we have to render the children otherwise we have to render null so as you can see over here because is apple pay enabled value is also true and I have passed the value as false we are not seeing the apple text if I go back if I change this to false you will see that apple is also visible on the screen so this is how you can implement a feature flag now one improvement you can do over here is you can use the use effect hook and you can make the API call and update the state right now I am used a default state just for demo purpose second thing in the question you can see is we have to improve the performance and add a caching so for the caching you can use the local storage and you can persist the data in that and then third is sharing across different apps so the third part I leave it up to you as an exercise to determine how would you share the feature flag data across different apps uh, in the react but I hope you have understand the use case of feature flag and how to implement a basic feature flag in react so these types of question you can expect in uh, Atlassian's interview it is you know very time bounded you have to solve this under 45 to 50 minutes and generally we don't think like this during the interviews because the solution might not click we are under stress we are nervous so it's better to practice things beforehand so that you know uh, you don't have to miss things out during the interviews thank you for your time